This is an interesting piece of debitage because it's, it's a, it appears to be a modified flake because it has these jagged edges which are usually indicative of use wear of some kind. This is more typical of, of the kind of debitage that we find out here, so we're very interested to see exactly what this is. So now that we've cleaned this off a little bit, we can see it's a fine-grained volcanic rock, probably rhyolite, and that these edges are not necessarily indicative of some kind of use wear. That's just the way this material breaks when, it, when it's flaked off. So we see how it was made. Uh, this was the top of it. This is the platform, the bulb and percussion. But we don't see any evidence that it was used for anything. Uh, probably just broken off and left where it laid. Okay, so we're over in Unit K and we just found a uniface. And we can tell that it's uniface because we found where the platform probably was, which is where it was struck. And then after that, we can see where there have been flakes removed from just one side and then other flakes that were taken off as it was used. And previous flake scars from where it was removed from the core are on this side. And there's use wear right here on that side and pressure flaking on this side. And right, a little bit right there. So what we have here is an obsidian uh, part of a biface. It was broken at some point during its use, and it uh, you can see where it broke here. There's these waves along the edge. There's also this break here where it's flat, and another break at the tip. And you can also see along the edge here tiny flakes where it was used as probably a knife. Uh, you can see it's a biface because there's pressure flaking. Uh, it looks like little waves on both sides of the tool. Um, pressure flaking is usually done with pieces of bone or antler and it's just pushed off. Um, we're thinking based on the curvature of it, it was probably like about that size. And obsidian is a pretty cool find here because the nearest source is about 100 miles away. So it's a pretty exciting find. As we have been excavating feature 01, we have found four rib bones. Now as we've reached the cobbles at the bottom of the pit, we have found a piece of a jawbone with a tooth on it. Now this tooth is a canine tooth and can help us identify the species of the animal that we found. Uh, what we have here is basically it's a portion of a blade which has been heavily used. There is a flake scar right here which shows that maybe they were going to try retouching it. So you basically, along here is where the, you get the most use wear. This is probably the edge they really use the most. Throughout the summer, the students have been excavating pieces of green obsidian that have been flaked to form a biface. And this was the first piece that was found. It's a uh, biface tip. And the second piece that was found shows a little bit of the edge of the blade and its two pieces fit together. And the last piece was found most recently and it's a rounded, you can see rounded, looks like an end perhaps. And we're going to see now if they fit together because they just found what may be the missing link between all of these pieces put back together. So we've been finding these pieces almost in all different sides and corners of the site. So whatever happened to this thing 
it got scattered in all kinds of directions. And you can only imagine, maybe somebody got upset and threw it in all kinds of directions, or maybe they just got kicked around after it got broken. Okay. That's cool. But if we can find this one last piece, I think that we'll have the entire object and we'll really be able to see what it's made out of. So it looks like we're missing one piece.